Hello everybody and welcome. In this tutorial I will show how to create a new site axis that uh, uses a custom root node. So we have here our ERC Publishing installation, but let's say we are creating a new project that divides the content tree node in several parts and each part correspond to a site to a holy website so let's say folders is one website articles is another website in easy publish by default when we create a site axis it uses the node id to this node as the root node but we can change this so we can specify that uh, the site axis start in this node here or this node here articles to do this we need to change our settings so we have here one example how to do this so when we do this we need to specify the content tree root location id but if you are going to use a different root node, we need to be careful. And uh, you need to check your PHP and Twig files and make sure they support a custom root node. I have here one example that I needed to change my project because uh, I was supposed that uh, the root node was the node ID 2. And I created the, my breadcrumb and the top menu and side menu, uh, supposing that uh, I was not going to use a custom root node. So you need to check this that uh, I'm uh, getting the root location ID uh, using the config resolver. So now I can just get this instead of specifying it by hand. So this is one example that you may you need to be careful to do this, but uh, it's really easy to to just specify that the website uses a different root node. So we are going now to create a new example so I'm going to use this articles folder here as the root node for the new site axis and uh, I'm going to name this new site axis as docs okay so I need to add this to the site access list to the groups in the site group it will, it will be in the front end group as well. Docs, uh, let me check. I need to add this here so when I access the site axis, the host slash docs, it will load that uh, new site axis docs site axis. Uh, now, now comes the interesting part. It's basically the same thing as the site. It will show the content in English. But now we need to add these settings here. Content tree. So we need to specify the content tree root location ID okay and uh, i need just to make sure that this id is this id here is valid so yeah it's the correct node id is 84 so i need to change this here to 84 and uh, i believe uh, that is it basically now this site axis is going to use a different uh, root node uh, just one 
thing here. If you are wondering uh, what uh, what settings you can specify here in the system, you can just check this file here. You need to go to vendor, easy systems, easy publish kernel, easy bundle, easy publish core bundle. You go here to resource config and uh, default settings so you can see here that uh, you have these settings here okay and uh, by default it uses the location id2 you have these settings here exclude the uri prefixes i'm going also to to use this one and uh, I'm going to put uh, this. Let me check just uh, the URI here in the admin interface because uh, I want that um, this uh, this URI for users and the media library uh, will be used. Will not be changed if I change my root node because by default if i change my root node if i i cannot access these folders here because of the the site starts in the in this root here so i can just see all the content that are below this folder this node here so if i specify that um, I exclude some URI prefixes, then I can access this URI with the new content tree root node. So I'm going to add these users and uh, with media. I need to check this here actually. Yeah, media. And uh, basically, that is it. I believe uh, we can check. Uh, Confluence for one sample is a publish boot site support. Um, I need to check this here. Confluence, yeah, using content root node. So they have one example here, you can use like this. Uh, images actually media I can put users um, so you can check what to do here I'm going to just um, let me check if I in my case I believe uh, it's media with the uppercase M and the images with the uppercase I just check um, media images media images yeah, I can just put in media and users so basically that is it you can change uh, you can check more things here in this file if you want uh, more customization but I believe uh, that is enough for in our case here now I can just run uh, some commands. Is it publish here? console cache clear and then assets install and the asset key dump and I'm able to check the new site access. I'll put all the links in the video description, so don't worry. Now I can check in this here docs. Oh, I need to because I'm using my custom bundle here, and uh, it requires that uh, I put uh, some settings in the twig config file. So yeah, I need to put it here docs and the local will be in 
GB. Okay, now again, cache clear, sets install, set git up. Let's try again. It's very strange sometimes because um, I have already put the locale here, but uh, it is still not working. It's very strange. I will, if it does not work now, I will pause the video and uh, try to find what's the problem. Okay, I found the problem. I needed to remove by hand all cache files in easypublish slash cache slash dev slash star. So I remove all the cache file here. So yeah, it's really strange because uh, I thought that uh, by doing this command here, it was enough to clear the cache. But in this case, it wasn't. So now I have this website here and uh, we can see that uh, when we access the, the root node, it displays this folder here, articles. Let me just go here, display this folder, the content of this folder here. If you create a folder here, let's create a folder just as one example, it will be a menu item. So let's say menu item one, top menu item. Then. Okay, let's check our website and we can see that uh, it is using this articles folder as the root node. And uh, if we create Let's refresh this page here. Oh, we need to go to this page here. If we create another folder here, check here, folder, and uh, let's go back to our website. Now I can go here and we can see that. Uh, it is using that node as the root node and the side menu is working, the top menu is working and the breadcrumb is working. This is really important, so you need to check this thing in your project. Also, we can check our main website and see that uh, this content, this main website has this node as the root node and we can still access this articles folder here and see all the chains. So basically that is it. Now it's possible to create uh, several websites and the uh, site access and each one uses a different root node. So you can segment your content tree node in several parts and each part is one website so that is it it's really easy just make sure to clear your cache by hand the hardcore way and uh, i'll create another tutorial how to create a new site tax that uses a different database in the next time see you there bye bye